Hi guys. Today, first and foremost, we're taking a look at a very recently announced MMORPG called Arthdol Chronicles. What I just found out to have a Korean Netflix show going on since 2019 with the same name. So it basically seems like they're adapting that into a new IP with an MMORPG at heart. Which kind of reminds me of Crimson Desert a lot. I don't know what the hell happened to that game. Anyway, slated for release this year and this is what the fine folks also came up with. Take a look. Moving on, it's Tower of Fantasy, an up-and-coming MMORPG, of course, and I was a little less than a month ago, and what I came to understand by the time a free-to-play game with elements of action RPGs and open worlds as well. The fact is that Tower of Fantasy is available now only in China, it was actually first introduced two years ago. Now, what's basically happening here though is an English version is under development and set to come out either late 2022 or early next year and into PCs only. Check this out. Project Barbecue, I mean BBQ on the other hand, is and was actually since a few years back one of the most anticipated anime MMOs in the making. It's being built using Unreal Engine 4 or 5, I'm not, I'm not sure. It's gonna be a PC exclusive, although I'm not really that sure about that one as well. Like it's expected to be released on consoles as well. A heavily focused on combat game and coming out of the Korean developer game as well, which is actually a good thing nowadays, don't, don't get me wrong. Well check this out, the good news is that games actually do out mid to late this year and there's a new trailer.
Up until no more than a handful of days ago, the most anticipated Diablo-inspired MMORPG of 2022, Lost Ark, who finally made its way to PCs into Western territories, and yes, it's a free-to-play game as well, like I said just a few days ago. I think Diablo-like would just be the perfect word to describe this game, just one look at the looting system you'll come to notice that the sheer amount of dungeons and its diversity speaks for itself. So here's the thing, I wouldn't recommend this game, unless you're kind of ready to give up months if not years of, of hours to play, so just keep that in mind. Abaritia <laughs> Now, well, yes, following an actual long distance, Bandai Namco came out and revealed a bit more on Blue Protocol just recently, their longest awaited MMORPG. So Blue Protocol just finished its beta testing in Japan, and according to Bandai Namco, the team is currently improving the game based on opinions, a closed beta for the global version is set to come out way very soon, and the game itself in its full is also gonna come out, we hear, between April to June this year, so. Keep it in mind. Look at Frozen Flame, a an MMORPG, of course, adventure regarding a dying world of dragons, like where there's or used to be dragons. I'd like to say the good thing about Frozen Flame, despite the looks of it, is that it basically is a survival open world game and to some extent a decision based one. Other than those, which is why I actually included the game, we do know that this game has been in the making for quite a while and now finally coming out through Steam and to past generation of consoles later this year. Check it out real quick. Project Ragnarok, on the other hand, by NetEase, whose focus is mostly on mobile games, but in this case, an MMORPG, and as you can see, one of the finest looking ones in the making since it was actually revealed. Regarding which, unfortunately, there's been way too little to no details as into what it is really about and how far it is in development. What we do know, however, is that the project itself is headed to PCs and mobile devices and also consoles and a likely release date reveal trailer is coming our way in the next few months. We hear it. Mortal Online 2 is available now on PCs. For those of you unfamiliar with a subscription-based game, meaning you'll need to pay for the base game and also the monthly subscription as well, basically, well since I've yet to be given this one a try myself, let's say if you have played the original Mortal Online from almost 8 years ago, this might just be the one for you, I don't know. Mortal Online 2, besides the MMO part, comes with plenty of exploration, tons of quests and crafting material, in addition to what looks to be some fine combat as well, so just check it out.
We have Bitcraft, on the other hand, announced almost half a year ago, touted as a procedurally generated sandbox MMORPG, which is currently being developed by Clockwork Labs with a pre-alpha stage set to be coming our way soon. Now, Bitcraft is actually labeled as a new kind of MMORPG, besides the trailer that is basically all I do know. So you go ahead and check this out as well and just keep it in mind. The game in its full is set to be coming out uh, into pieces only sometime next year. is going to be fun. Moving on, it is King's Hunt, a 5 vs 5 MMORPG that throws you back into the medieval times with the sole purpose of destroying your opponents. In fact, this game mixes PvP combat with real-time strategy and tower defense mechanics. Not gonna lie, I actually like all three. The results of which, to me, it seems like a decent one as well. I give it a quick look, this game's said to be coming out way very soon and into PCs only. No one can tell you where to find it. There are no guides. If you were a fan of sandbox MMORPGs, however, I'd say you should at least be familiar with Embers Adrift by now. The game comes with some decent PvP stuff. I mean, the setting is legit, the challenges are meant to be fun, and the adventure is also there. So, I don't know, if you're just looking to jump into a PvP-focused kind of sandbox MMORPG, this might be it. There is numerous betas being held in the coming days, and the full game is also set to release sometime later this year, and into PCs only. So just... At least keep it in mind. Miles and miles of wilderness to get lost in. You discover a small camp in the middle of nowhere. Corpunk, on the other hand, the one traditional style MMORPG that you all came to know by the fact that will include a huge, in fact, 60% of the whole thing as endgame content, which I don't know if that jogs the memory or not, but an open world game and as well announced almost two years ago. Corpunk is now planned for further polish and planned for a couple of betas very, very soon, and that's basically it. The full game is also scheduled to come out by the end of 2022, so keep it in mind. Kill monsters to earn gold. Thread them with your best move. Uh, be careful, though. They get pretty crafty when fighting as a unit. <laughs> Grow crops. Chop wood. Mine ore. Trade goods for missing resources to craft the weapon you deserve. Suit up! It won't make you stronger, but you'll look absolutely fabulous. Choose a set of talents. We have broken ranks. A turn-based MMORPG at heart, which is available now, by the way, on PC since uh, last month. It's a free-to-play game. It's, it's probably one of the most unique indie MMOs of the past few years of nine decade, I wonder if it's definitely worth to check out if, one, you're an MMO gamer, two, you're an RPG gamer as well, three, if you do own a PC, since technically speaking, like I said, it's a free-to-play game anyway. Oh, the game's also coming to mobile devices as well, uh, I've been led to believe sometime later this year, so take a look. It's a curse. Whoever it was, they'd never been to Haligard. In this land of filth and wealth, your fate is in your hands. As it is for others like you. Those who also lost everything. Living in the shadows of the past, you cannot wait to exact revenge.
But first, reach out for what the world has to offer. Self-describe as a cozy and welcoming MMO where players can build a home and life. By the way, just confirmed to be a free-to-play game with only purchasable cosmetic items. Is an MMO RPG, of course, where you generally get to just basically befriend characters, experience, and evolve with them as well. I'm sure there's a lot more, but that's just what I know. This game is coming to PCs only either late 2022 or early next year. Moving on, it's Ashes of Creation. I'm personally speaking, one of the projects I'm not really that hyped about if we're talking gameplay in general, but one that actually comes with an insane amount of content in terms of spells and enemies, diversity. In Ashes of Creations, you will be able to actually shape the world as you see fit. Now, obviously, it's an open world MMORPG, but a decision based one to an extent that the choices you will make will either close off certain quests or open up new ones eventually giving players a different outcome. Still, again, not my favorite thing about it, so you, you'll, you'll be to charge with that one. Take a look. We have Into the Echo. Now, obviously an MMORPG, but with a distinct twist. It's a, well, and I quote, time travel odyssey. Now, the thing about this game though is that right now there's no sign of a release date for it just yet, but it is having its second pre-alpha test from March 5 to 7th this year, in case you're just interested to learn more about. And uh, yeah, the full game is also expected to release sometime next year, so just take a look. Couple months ago, developers Gamigo or Gamigo announced a open world sandbox MMORPG, of course, known as Fractured. Now, actually named officially Fractured Online. As of this moment, now, Fractured Online features what I've learned to be three races, a pure PvE experience allowing players to duel and stuff as well in, in PvP. I don't really know much about Fractured, but you can actually sign up for the betas coming up soon. Also, 2022 full release and into PCs only.
Last but not least, there is Siege, which by the way just went under the NFT support, a game nonetheless described as a battle royale with a medieval background. Now anyway, this game is currently in development using Unreal Engine 5. It's crazy. It's said to be released on PCs only, for which also developers set some leg to offer a top-tier gaming experience in the blockchain gaming market. So take a look.